Westlake Village Art Guild at the studio of Peter Andrews, and Susan Vogel is manning the camera for us. So, Peter, tell me, how did you start painting? Um, I've been doing art my entire life, since I was a little kid. I always loved to draw. And uh, back about 40 years ago, I started getting interested in, in doing painting. And I used to do big, huge abstracts. Uh -huh. and, and I showed down in LA. And I've, I've, I've been into all kinds of things. I don't limit myself to one thing. I just kind of whatever comes along. Where are you from? Lancaster. Uh-huh. Yeah, out in the Alamo Valley. And are you formally trained? No. I, I have, my whole life I've just been inspired by things and then I just go do them. <laughs> so. Wow. Yeah. Um, but, so I started out doing that and I used to show in LA all the time with groups and at various places. And then I kind of got out of it for a little bit and got into drawing and woodworking and other kinds of things. And then I really got back into it during the pandemic. Uh -huh. uh, when it first started and we were all locked down, I was like, what am I going to do? So I went and got a canvas and I had paints and I did a painting and then I didn't do anything for a year. And then a year ago, uh, 2021, uh, about April, May, I started painting again. I decided to start. And since then, I'm on my 18th and 19th painting That's in just cool. over a year and a half. That's great. Yeah. So when I met you, you were coming into the gallery with this big painting, <laughs> and I said, is that acrylic? And you said? No, it's watercolor on canvas. And so, it's that painting right there, probably. And so that's <laughs> why I wanted to talk with you about it, because okay. I've never heard of anybody doing that before. Um, I, it was just happenstance. I, I had some canvases. I had some paints, I had acrylic paints too, but I thought, well, you know, I'll try the watercolor. You know, no one ever, my famous saying is, no one ever told me I couldn't do it, so uh -huh. I did it. Uh-huh, okay, and just, just, and just, and just ask second. him, the camera was off, if, he, if you treat the canvas with anything. No, um, the thing I have to be careful with is if the canvas that I get has kind of a plasticky gesso on it, mm -hmm. it's real hard to get it to stick. To stick. Oh, I bet it is. Yeah. Um, but thankfully, I've only had a problem once or twice with that. The the gesso really accepts the watercolor, um, and but it's easy to remove, so it's easy to play with a uh -huh. lot. But it it's not hard to to work with. How is it different from working on watercolor paper? Uh, it's very forgiving. It's very forgiving. Like uh, I was telling Susan, I can go back. A week later some colors like blue you can't totally remove them but most colors you can go back and you can work them for weeks at a time if you want to huh yeah and uh, in layers yes uh -huh. layers um, addition subtraction a lot of times I'll like lay heavy and then I'll like remove and then add and remove and kind of just work it as I go and then at the end I just make sure that I get a varnish on it before anything happens to it. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so uh, we are in this wonderful studio at the beach. You're like, what, a block from water yeah. on either side, kind of. Yeah. Um, so that's partly what informs your subject matter? Um, anything does, as you'll see as we look around. Uh -huh. um, it's like, I'll see pictures, like that's a picture of Mount Hood, and I've been to oh, Mount uh -huh. Hood when I was younger. Um, that's that's Santa Paula out there. I oh, was yes. going to work as a docent one day, and, and I'm trying to get that into the Santa Paula Ag Show next month. Oh yeah, that would be great. Um, but yeah, anything that strikes me, that'll probably become my next subject. That, what that, attracts you? What makes it strike you? It's weird. It's just I. I'll see something, and then I'll almost get like this. Kodak picture flash of the piece uh -huh. and what I want to do with it uh -huh. and, and where it could possibly go mm -hmm. and then I just work from that. Um, I have no idea how it's going to end up or turn out but it, 
I've always been more satisfied than the original flash I had in my mind. So you have a vision and then you let it go where it's going to yeah. go. Yeah, I kind of, a lot of times I let the piece of artwork just kind of guide me along for what I want to do. Where do you paint physically? Where do you paint? Uh, the path, since I've had my shoulder surgery, I've been painting down here. Well, let's take um, a look. So this is your kitchen. Yes. With some good light. Yeah. Um, and it's a wide open area. And my wife does quilting. So oh. we can't work in the same space because it's small. Mm -hmm. And so if she wants to work on quilting, I can come down here. Because she can't, like, haul her stuff up and down the right, stairs. Right, right. So, yeah. Uh, but the real studio is up in the loft. Aha. Uh -huh. So... So we, should we go look at that sure. as well? If you and to. what is this? Uh, this is my newest piece. It's a wolf that I'm mm. working on. Um, I love it. The thing that's going to really tie it all together is when I do the eye, which is where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I always save like the most important part for the last. Really? And devote the most part to, to that. So then you draw at the end. You do your or do you draw at the beginning as well? Uh, at the beginning. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, everything is drawn out on the canvas first, and then I start painting. So I noticed a piece of woodwork in the powder bath there. Was that yours? Is that deer? Uh, no, that, oh. that was just something that I had gotten. Oh. But, this but reminds the, me of woodwork. Yes, yeah, because I am around. I grew up around wood. My dad was a woodworker. Mm -hmm. um, I have walking sticks over here that are ones that I did by the... Uh, record player. Uh-huh. Okay, so take you a want me to show them a little bit. Yeah. Uh, all the nice. wood, uh, except for these pieces, uh, the base, all the wood came from Ojai after the Thomas fire. Oh, boy. And uh, I started going hiking out there, and I would just take two, three hours and just book bushwhack uh, through the forest. And it all started with, actually, if you turn around, that piece right there in the center. Uh, oh yeah. I found that piece of wood and I thought, man, that'd make a great walking stick. And then I thought, well, it'd be fun to just make some walking sticks. So I made about 15 of them. Oh, they're wonderful. Yeah. Beautifully finished as well. Well, let's go. Footage of these That one's, other not, that one's not mine. That's your, not yours, huh? Yeah. Uh, is my, the other one yours that comes Yes, here? yeah. Everything else is mine. Oh, I love this horse. And it's got a fox next to it? Yes. Yeah, we'll have to get those on the way back now. That's, that's actually going to House and Oaks. Oh, good. Yeah, that one and this one here. Very nice. So Peter was saying he almost got the cat box out of there, but I said every studio <laughs> has to have room for their animal, right? Yes. So I, we had a new puppy, okay. and I came in one day, and she had gotten into the quinecridone red. Oh, no. She was covered with quinecridone. <laughs> Murphy soap takes quinecridone okay. off animal fur. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ever I, 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 I would imagine the puppy didn't appreciate that fact. But. Yeah, right. <laughs> she was having a great time. Oh, oh, no. I put it on Facebook and people thought she'd gotten cut or hurt, you oh, know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I so to... talk about this a little bit. Did you have models for this? Uh, no, this, this one, there is a musician. She's a young woman in Nashville, and um, she's really, really good. And... I had seen some of her music on Instagram, and so I contacted her and started following her and bought her CD, and we kind of were chatting back and forth on message, and I said, you know, if you are if you know people or you're ever interested in art, let me know. And so she has this song um, called Jesse's Gun, and it's about Jesse James, or a, a guy that rides with Jesse James. and. Uh, she said, I would love for you to do a painting to go along with this song of mine, and maybe we can turn it into an NFT and try to sell it uh -huh. with my song. Uh -huh. And so immediately I just started flashing on ideas, and uh, that was the last painting that I just finished here uh, in the past couple weeks. That's great. Um, I love it. Love yeah. the movement in it. Yeah, and so my... My neighbor up front, he's a professional photographer, so we're shooting all of our, all the stuff. We're shooting that 
to send to her and then we're shooting trying to shoot everything to start doing uh, professional um, gallery limited edition prints like as you clay or um, we're gonna actually he has a paper that's like watercolor paper uh -huh. that he can put it on oh. um, and so we're, we're thinking about starting with that um, okay. so I see you have some paints laid out here what do you yes. use what's your um, kind do you use it, it's kind of the same as everything else I just go into the store and whatever I'm thinking about using or what are my next pieces I'll just start grabbing paint uh -huh. <laughs> And I, I don't really go by names and, and, you know, who makes what. It's just, okay, that looks like a good color, and this looks like a good color, and I just start grabbing stuff. And the same, same way with brushes. I mean, I, I have just a kind of a hodgepodge of brushes that I use. Yeah. And so you start, it, start with your drawing in pencil? Yes. Yeah. And then what do you do? Um, I just start painting. Honestly, uh -huh. um, I, I'll have an idea for what I want to do, and I'll just start going in and just start working the canvas. Um, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'll like start to take it off, add something else in. Mm -hmm. But it's it's all. I was talking to an artist up in Santa Barbara because somebody asked me. They're like, "Well, what do you call your style?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I've never called it anything." Mm -hmm. but, and and they brought out. Because they're kind of that way too. They said, "Well, it's like intuitive," and I'm like, "Yeah, uh -huh. it's like intuitive expressionism. It's whatever I see that strikes me at that moment. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. And whatever the canvas wants to do, whatever the paint wants to do, whatever my mind directs me to do, I just kind of go with it and see where it'll end up." The wonderful thing about this is you don't have to have glass. It doesn't have to be framed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which I do, anything that you see with a wood frame, I make all my own frames. Uh -huh. um, but, like, uh, I have a piece in Carpinteria right now, and it got right down to the last minute, and I'm like, okay, I'll just paint the canvas, you know, the paint sides. Paint the edges, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. so that, it's not my favorite thing, I'd rather frame them, but it's like, okay, I accept that now. And people like that. They do? Yeah, it's more okay. of a contemporary look. I okay, I was yeah. afraid it's like, oh, look, he, would, he didn't finish it. He didn't it. finish it, yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't think so. Yeah. And so. some pieces have to be, like, I'm, I have a frame out in the garage right now for this piece that's going to go to Thousand Oaks. Um, and it needs to be framed in wood, you know, because it has that, just that kind of that southwest, look, yes. you know, western feel to it. So I know you show at the Westlake Village Art Guild. Yes. And you mentioned Santa Paula. Where else do you show? Uh, I've been showing pretty regularly up in Carpinteria at the uh, Art Center. Uh-huh. Yeah, they have a lot of juried shows. And um, since last, in about the past year, I, the first place I, I entered was at uh, uh, Santa Paula, mm -hmm. the Ag Show. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect anything. Uh -huh. I thought, well, I'll just try. And uh, since then, I've gotten into every show I've entered. That's fantastic. And I'm in 13. I, I'm up to 13 right now in the past year, 10 months. That's fantastic. That's so, great. Uh, yeah, so I show there. And I'm also with a group in Santa Barbara, the Santa Barbara Visual Artists. Mm -hmm. And um, in the past, I showed in L.A. and Santa Monica and stuff. But... Here recently, it's been Santa Paula, um, uh, Thousand Oaks, Carpinteria. Um, oh, I'm going to be at the tennis club in Santa Barbara uh, in October also. Very good. Yeah. That's wonderful. So, I have three shows coming up in October. <laughs> so, <laughs> We're lucky for... we got you. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. tell me, uh, do you have any goals for your art for this year? Uh, my goal this year was showing mm -hmm. because I hadn't shown for a long time. Uh -huh. And so when I got into the ag show, I thought, oh, you know, I'll try more. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden it was like, okay, can I get in every month? Uh -huh. And so this 2022, that was my obsession. And so far it looks like I might get it every month. Uh, and then next year my goal 
Um, I've been in touch with a couple of people up in Car uh, Santa Barbara um, that have galleries, mm -hmm. and I would, I'm hoping to get in with them. To uh, it's the Lacumba Plaza people. I don't know if you know who they are. No. Yeah, they have actually three galleries like within one area. Huh. So, and it's a lot of Santa Barbara artists. Oh, that's great. So that's my goal, aside from maybe not showing as, or, you know, entering jury shows as much next year, but my you have goal, your own gallery setting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, great. Yeah. <laughs> well, is there anything else you'd like to tell us that people um, want to know? I'm looking forward to being in the show coming up uh, at the, in Thousand Oaks. Yeah, that'll and, be fun. And I love this group. I, you know, I, I mean, I've only shown with you guys once, uh, last, what was it, last May? Uh-huh. In the jury show. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I, I really love everybody, and um, I'm trying, uh, hopefully I'm going to be helping out for the opening. Oh, or, good. Yeah, and I told, uh, I think it's Dawn, that I'd help out with the end gathering this Saturday. Great, good. Well, we'll see you there then. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to I'll be to there it. also. Oh, good. They're trying to train me to know how to do these shows. <laughs> <laughs> they want you to take over. <laughs> Wendy would like me to do the shows, yes. But there are people that have been doing them for years that are really good. So. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. I appreciate the oh, time. And Susan, thank you so much for doing thank, our video. Thank you, too. For, <laughs> I mean, if you had never asked me, I would never do something like this. So thank you for asking. Look. It's a real privilege. Oh, good. <laughs> well, I was very curious about your work, so oh, I'm glad thanks. to talk with you. Thank you. Okay.